beautiful morning in the northeast. Bit icy, so we're on the gravel, but I'm on a mountain bike, so I'm making things even harder for myself. Just on the way to meet Ben for a nice local loop. Perfect day for it. Skills. Morning. Hey Ben, tell the camera what you just told me. I thought I'd cut out the hill by car and park at the top of the hill, but then realize at the end of the loop, I'm still gonna have to go up the hill to get to my car. <laughs> With you. It is a circle, yeah. yeah. I'm on the slowest bike in the world, so. Yeah, no, You'll be towing me up the hill. I bonked already. It's only been five minutes. I feel like that could have gone really wrong really quickly. I've been looking at that little bit every day when I ride into the studio. Like, shall I ride up it? Is it too steep and will I fall off? You've answered the question for me, thank you. You're so close to falling off though. Oh. Massive truck in the way. So a little stop, small refuel, good to go again. Nice to catch up with the guys in the shop and I've actually ordered myself a group set. Something fairly unusual to put on the new bike, which I will be announcing next week. As, uh, as a lot of you will know, because you're cyclists, there has been issues securing bike parts over the last few, two years really. So I've had to go with something a little bit experimental. I'm not sure what to expect. The guys in the shop aren't quite sure what to expect, but it's gonna make an interesting build video. Whatever happens, it's gonna be extremely light and I'm quite excited to see it. So stay tuned for that. Hi. Too fast. This route is so good, mate. It is good. There's barely any road. It's like 90. It's a tiny bit of industrial. Eh? It's just a tiny bit of industrial, isn't there? Oh like, yeah, like that massive truck. Yeah. You're breathing quite heavy there, Francis. I am. I have got a slow bike. <laughs> that's my excuse anyway. Oh, thank you. Push me. Oh, that's way easier. Oh. Big dog, Ben. Oh, big, big, but he was slow. So I felt safe. Well, that's how out of breath this ride. It's supposed to be an easy ride. Is that micro pig or a piglet? It's a micro pig. Yeah. Definitely a micro pig. They are, aren't they? We're going to be here for like 20 minutes now while Ben enjoys himself. They are sweet though, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I won't get over. Pressure got to me. What? What? Keep going. Give me my bike back. Don't want to be left with this. It's too big. Seat's too high. It's gone. Remember that climb I was trying to avoid? Yeah. That's why I drive into it. Yeah. Now we're riding to it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate kind of made that last climb unnecessarily difficult by trying to do wheelies up it. Ben is very good at wheelies. I wish I had 10% of the skill that Ben did. He's got some serious bike control. Feels good to be back out on the bike for a proper ride and not just commuting to the studio in town. Definitely needed that to rejuvenate my love of cycling again after a few days of just feeling a bit really demotivated. Sometimes you just need a nice ride where you don't look at your head unit. You just go and enjoy it. That's what today was. So, 
Right done and dusted, fantastic day. Great to see Ben, fun times, my legs are very sore from doing all those wheelies. Bit of an announcement and future plan thing to talk about. I'm soon going bikepacking again and I'm gonna take the camera with me. I was actually having to fly out in a few weeks time to Spain anyway to do some filming with a professional cycling team in Calpe. So it kind of made sense to just get earlier flights, do a big bikepacking trip and then finish at the location where I'll be doing the work stuff. So that's exactly what we've done. We've planned a three week long trip from Alicante all the way down the coast to Malaga, north a bit, inland, and then all of the roads there right up to Valencia and then looping back around. So this should be taking in some of the best cycling roads in Spain, which I'm very excited about. All I need to do is just make sure my new bike is sorted in time, which has been a bit stressful. I'm not gonna lie. In shorter term travel news, I need to get this bike sorted because I'm heading down to London and not taking these wheels with me. I'm heading down to London to see Dov from Parkours. You will have seen him on the channel before and film a couple of episodes of Bike Fit Tuesdays because there hasn't been any in a while and it would be very good to see Bike Fit James. After a couple of comments on the last Bike Fit Tuesdays videos, I realized it might be the market for a Q&A edition of Bike Fit Tuesdays. So if you have any Bike Fit questions, put them underneath this video and we'll do our best to answer them all in one video, as long as they don't take too long and they don't deserve videos of their own, or we've already filmed videos on the topics. Let us know your bike fit questions, anything really specific that we haven't covered in videos before, um, and we'll do our best to answer them in the next few days. It's gonna be a flying visit, it's gonna be a very busy weekend, but hopefully worth it. Isn't it so annoying when you've got two different sets of wheels? One is aligned perfectly with your disc brakes and then you put them different wheel set on and then it's not aligned anymore and it just makes that zing 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 noise that you just heard. First world problems I guess.